Hello guys and welcome back to the FM20 Mobile Gates Head Career. As you know, we have uh, got into the next season. Um, hopefully we're in the Champions League this year. Um, but we've had plenty of changes at the club um, since you were last with us. Uh, Matteo Vecchi has uh, left the club. I mean, he wasn't here for very long. What was it, two seasons? Yeah, two seasons he was here for. 18.25 mil to AS Monaco. Greenwood has gone. Um, he was just getting on a bit, and I didn't think he was going to play much this season, uh, but he played very well for us uh, over the time he was here. Uh, Grady McArdle, I've decided to sell. He went to Reading for 8 mil as well. Uh, Marigosu, a veteran of the team, has also been sold uh, for, to Nuremberg for 3 million. Um, various players have gone also. Caleb Tierney, he's also left the club, gone to Kilmarnock. And then uh, these lads have gone out on loan. Uh, obviously, you can see some new signings here uh, that we've brought in. So Moreno, uh, Bakayogo, uh, Bruno uh, Gamber uh David, um, Pauls, Paulinho. So pl plenty of players to see in the club uh, to see what we want to do with them. Um, but yes, it is the new season. Let's get on with it quickly. Uh, today we have the Euro Euro Super Cup. Um, I'm not exactly sure what other game I'm going to show you. I'm undecided yet, but we'll see how we do against Man City. Um, we need to pick two more uh, subs, I believe. So, uh, there we go. So, this is the team we're going to go with. We've got Mertens, Matuidi, McClear, Glombotsky, Main, Gaze, Taral. David, new signing, Benedetto, Paulinho, new signing, and Guyana up top. Let's see how we do, and uh, fingers crossed we can keep in it and uh, get the win and take another trophy home, which would be really nice. We're the home team, even though it's obviously a neutral ground. Only 18,000 people here, so I don't actually know what um, country we're in, uh, but it looks like we're getting some chances in, which is good. Man City are in their third kit, it looks like. Um funky colours, I'm not sure why they're not in the home kit, but fair enough, um, but the first 20 minutes has shown that it's obviously very, very tight indeed, uh, Guyana's going to whip a cross in, unfortunately someone couldn't get at the end of it, I think it was David who was in the middle, their new signing, uh, the kind of veterans really, uh, the club just wanted to bring it in, especially Paulinho, he's a bit older now, um, it's not the Paulinho that used to play with Tottenham anyway. Um, it's uh, one of the places for Shakhtar and Nesk. As I say that, Man City go 1-0 up at the half uh, half an hour mark. Uh, Morgan Rogers with the goal. Obviously, Man City came away with the Champions League this year. So uh, we're looking at a tough game, really. Uh, but we want to try beat them this year and do a little bit better. I'm trying to skip it, go go as quick as I can. Um, I want to at least win the Premier League before we uh, sack this series off, which will be fairly soon, 21st, I believe. Um, and it is the, I think it's the 8th today. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Uh, Jay David, we will bring off now. We'll bring on Nesbitt in cam. And uh, we'll do a double change now. Uh, gaze off in the middle for El Nelly. And who else are we going to take off? Looks like Paulinho needs to come off there. And we'll bring on Von Schrotter on the left. Fingers crossed that held, holds up and uh, we can get some goals from them boys in midfield there. Or at least play it through to who we want it to anyway. Our last 15 minutes coming up now. We could really do with a goal to at least take it extra time or penalties. I'm not sure exactly how this works. Uh, but it would be nice. Uh, we'll see how we do. Um, last 10 minutes now it's looking a bit worse for wear to be honest I mean we're up the team on top it seems but we just can't get a goal unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going to happen uh, we're just not in a, in a scoring mood it seems and uh, that's going to be the end of the game I think Von Schrotov has a last chance and he goes into Benedetto in the middle I'm just hoping it's going to count because it lo he looks maybe a little bit offside and that's it 1-1 one, one, a 90th minute equaliser that's exactly what we needed and uh, I guess we'll see where we go to here. So it is extra time. Let's um, let's get it. I've never, I haven't seen a goal that late on in a game in ages. So that's why I was so surprised. To be honest, I thought that was it. Um, but 
I'll take that indeed. We're the team on top, so hopefully the momentum takes us there. Obviously, we're going to go to a penalty shootout now, um, it looks like. So, fingers crossed, we can do well there. I guess that's what I'll show you next. Um, but it looks like that's where we're going to end up, and we are indeed. So, let's hope Mertens can <laughs> do the job. And it looks like he's made a save there. Von Trotter puts it past Urban there to make us go 1-0 up with the advantage already. Um, hopefully, we can keep it going. Obviously, Mertens is Belgium's number one goalkeeper. Um, so, it's a quite good effort hopefully that we keep it going Guyana puts it into the corner beautiful penalty unstoppable for Urban unfortunately for him uh, Rogers is going to put it past Mertens down the middle he didn't react well enough to it unfortunately there but we're looking good here uh, so far hopefully we can just keep it going Nesbitt puts it straight down the middle as well and um, we just want to try to get it going as best as we can and um, just keep them keep them shots going and hopefully I'll just go into the back of that. Uh, Salah and Mertens has made an absolute beauty of a save. If Benedetto puts this in, we win. And it looks like we do. That's it. We win. We win the Euro, Euro Super Cup. I was not expecting that when we came into this game. But penalty shootout, penalty practice has saved us. And uh, that is us uh, champions of Europe, I guess. Very strange, but I'll take that indeed. Gateshead win Euro Super Cup. That'll do. I guess I'll see you in the next game, whichever game I choose to show you. BRB. Welcome back. Um, we have got to the first group stage of the Champions League. Um, we are against Benfica. Let's just have a quick look at our group. I'm not expecting to do particularly well in this. Um, obviously, it's our first year in the Champions League. I think we should aim for the league this year, maybe, or maybe finish maybe second or third. I think that'll be fairly plausible. Uh, but we've got AZ Altmar, um, Inter Milan, and Benfica in our division. Uh, we're against Benfica today, so let's get on with it. We've got Mertens, Matuidi, Scalino, Glambotsky, Main, Terral, Benedetto, Nesbit, David, Bakayako, and Guyana up top. Let's get on with it and see how we do. Um, I think we're probably looking at a loss here, especially in Portugal. 64,000 people here at uh, their stadium, so uh, looking quite good for them uh, with the support that they'll get. Although we've got the only shot of the game so far, so you never know. It could be good, um, but we've got some world-class players in our team now, um, so theoretically we should be doing okay. Uh, Terrell's going to play it through uh, to Benedetto, who has a shot, and then he has another shot once it comes back straight back out to him. And surprisingly, we go 1-0 up in the first half an hour of the game. This will be a very, very good result from the lads if we can pull this off. I mean, a 1-0 victory would be nice, but... Ah, commentator's curse. Absolute commentator's curse. 1-1, one, one. <laughs> just before the 40th minute. Um, we're looking at half-time going into at 1-1. One, one. I mean, it's not too bad. I'd take a draw against these lot. Try not to lose, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Uh, Christian Benedetto, obviously, on our score sheet. One of our star players nowadays. So many offers are coming in um, for players like him. Um, Glenn Botsky's wanting to go. Uh, Mertens, goalkeepers wanting to go. Lots of people wanting to leave. Um, and they won't sign new contracts. But luckily, I've signed them on quite long contracts. So uh, it's bigger for them, really. I'm not letting them go. Um, so hopefully, when I can, I will get them new contracts uh, to stay. Uh, we'll bring up Robertson, veteran, up into Cam. Um, we we'll play it through to Guyana. And he makes it 2 1. What a great, great work goal there from the boys. Um, substitutions now will occur uh, and then some. Terrell to come off. We'll bring on the youngster Gaze uh, to sit in with Benedetto. And then last one here. Oh, bloody hell. What a goal. I wasn't expecting a goal there. Top corner outside the box. Prima Guyana gets another goal there. Um, I'll take that indeed. Um, a Tweedy to do the last substitution there. We'll bring on Savarino uh, at right back, and I think that'll take us to, hopefully, a 3-1 victory here at Benfica. Um, bloody hell. As I say that, uh, they get chance up 
uh, up their end. They haven't had many chances that have been shown, although they have had eight on target. Mertens has obviously just kept us in it, to be honest, so uh, I'll take that indeed. Yeah, the last ten minutes to go now, hopefully we should be able to hold on here. Um, it'll be slightly bad if we don't, uh, but it looks like we're going to come away with a 3-1 victory, um, which is a good effort indeed. Um, that will do nicely. So that sees us go top of our group. Um, before we end the episode, I just want to show you the league of how we're doing so far. So we're up in third. I uh, haven't lost yet, but we're not. We don't score too many. That's our problem. Um, so we'll see how we do in the rest of the season. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to show you. I'm probably going to show you the... Dep yeah, depends how we do, um, but we'll see. It'll be quite a, quite a while into the future, but I'll, we'll see when we get there. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.